Hello and welcome back to Salted Food. Now today we have four very exciting gadgets to review, but even better than that is we have all specifically chosen them for the person they're being given to. And even better than that, we're turning it into a little bit of a competition. We're gonna see which gadget is best. We've also come up with our own gadget pun, so sorry. <laughs> Evers, you're up first. Lifter, the cloche. Ooh. Ooh! Interesting. It looks like a tea towel holder. It's not a tea towel holder. Would you like me to give you a clue? What? Ah, oh. it's a whisk wipe. Evers, you've guessed it. This is the whisk wiper. It's a multifunctional whisk gadget that helps you to wipe a whisk and bowl in seconds. Forget about the mess as this whisk wiper lifts the loops off the counter and catches the drips. So Ebers, you've guessed one of the functions, but this is a multifunctional whisk gadget. Would you like to test it and we will find out some of the other functions? Sounds fun. So what we've got is a cake batter, but because we knew it was you making the cake batter, we coloured it because we know how much you love colouring in cakes. Now, what would happen if, I don't know, you forgot that you didn't preheat the oven and you need to just put the whisk down on the side of the bowl and you need to, to go and, and turn the oven on on the other side of the kitchen? What's going to happen? That. He's such a little <laughs> <laughs> Clean. Lovely. Cleaner. No, yep, no drips. Are you reading the instructions? <laughs> Let's have a look at the different user cases. You need to put the whisk down because you're going to turn the oven on on the other side of the kitchen. Where are you going to put it? Great. Now, if that was a really big bowl, what would be useful? It's not working. It's oh, slide in. Slide in. <laughs> yep. Bloody big bowl. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I get you. So I get you. you. Problem. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so get your. What's it, over, what's it doing over there? Well, I wouldn't have it in my hands. I'd have it stored in the kitchen somewhere, wouldn't I? Just pass the handle. Let's stop. And now you can rest it on the side of the bowl, like that, there you go. That's not gonna fall in. Gotcha. Alternatively, you could stand the whisk up on its end. And that whisk came with the whisk wiper, right? I know, amazing, right? I didn't say that, but I was just clarifying. <laughs> <laughs> you could lay it on its side, and the whisk end won't be touching the work surface. Carry on whisking. Now, what do you hate more than anything, Evers? Food waste. So, use your whisk wiper to wipe all of that cake batter. It's not just a whisk wiper, it's also a bowl wiper. So is a spoon. Multitasking. Multi, multi-functional. <laughs> if you're this much of a in testing my gadget, I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. We have seven different whisks and they're all different shapes and sizes. Is that going to fit all of my whisks? I'm gonna answer that for you, Evers. The answer is no. <laughs> the good news about that though, it comes with a whisk. It comes with the whisk that fits it. I saw a whisk wiper a few years ago and I actually thought to myself, do you know what? That's quite smart because it does solve a problem. Having now tried it, I realised it was a problem that didn't need solving. I'm, but don't get me wrong, I'm always grateful for a gift. Thank you. Well, how much do you think I spent on you with the whisk wiper? Eight quid. If it's more than eight quid, with the whisk. Oh yeah, you get the whisk. Basically, I'm paying £7.50 for the whisk, right? And 50p for a tea towel holder. If you were buying it in the US, it would only be $18.95, which is about 15 quid. That seems a lot. You're buying into an idea and a concept that ultimately isn't required. And even the whisk wasn't worth that, let alone the bit of plastic that came with it. Well, I have to ask you my pun now. Does this gadget whisk you away or would you stick it on eBay? I wouldn't put that on anybody else either. I don't think it's worth selling on. Off to a strong start. Next up. Beat that. Easy. Baz, lift the cloche and prepare to be wowed. Oh, okay. It's an electric can opener. That is one of six functions. What? This is a real multifunctional tool. <laughs> The Morphe Richards multifunctional can opener incorporates an automatic can opener plus a jar opener and a multi-opening tool to open bottle tops, ring pulls, lids, and even hard plastic packaging. 
The multifunction opener is perfect if you struggle with dexterity issues or simply want to make everyday opening tasks simpler. This opens all doors. This, this opens everything. Probably not doors though. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, first up, let's try the traditional non-ring pull can. So if you were to lift the lever up, that's it. Rest the can against oh, the edge. I hate this, I hate this bit. I'm 33 years old. I still don't think I've ever nailed opening a can opener on its first go. Try being left-handed, mate. Oh, <laughs> mate, you must be here for a world of pain. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's for later. Barry, listen to me. Okay, go again. Follow the instructions. Sorry, I'm panicking. So the top of the can, flat, that, like that, up against that bar. There you go. That is literally all you need oh, to that do. that was it, that was it. That was it. What do you mean, that was it? That took five minutes. Yeah, because, look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we no. go. Yeah. Now, now yeah. pull the lever down. Let go. Thank you. That, what, that is very easy. Stop. Now. If it doesn't fall, good. Yep. Hold, hold the tuner. Lift the lid. Okay, now, I know what you're thinking. Danger. Members. Danger, danger. Well, right on the front of the lever is a magnet. So. Oh, no, please. If you just pop it down, and there you go. <gasps> danger averted. <laughs> Mine has been blown. Back on again. I'm in the room. Your mind's been blown. Yeah. So gather it back up, pop it inside, put the lid on, and get ready to be blown again. Ugh, okay. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> promises, promises. <laughs> Number two, opening a new jar. See the, um, the grip at the top? You can remove that. <laughs> did you tie this up? No. I did not. I did not. That's fresh. That's a fresh jar. This never usually happens. No. But isn't there oh, better yeah. grip? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Come on, Barry. The thing is, this has now sweaty. Give it here. I'll do it. Yeah. Come on. Easy. Let's try. <laughs> Mike, was that easy? Absolutely. It was really easy. <laughs> because of the grip or? Yeah, because of the grip. Like, bosh, there you go. Now, I know what you're thinking. Take my money. Wait, because we're going to try three, four, and five. If you slide out <laughs> the grey, there you go. I love a secret oh compartment. Oh my goodness. You've got a bottle opener there, so you can crack open a bottle of beer. It's got a bottle top opener. Oh! It's worked again. Another argument could be, well, the majority of our cans come with ring pulls now. You can use that tool to slide it under, lift it up, and there you go. Add to all of that the sixth tool, which is for opening plastic yeah. packaging. What a gift. I like the fact it's all in one. Of the things here, I have a bottle opener and I have a can opener. Those two things are fine for me. If I have any disabilities um, or struggles, I can see how this can work. And I like the fact that it all comes in one. It can sit nice on your worktop. Well, it's clear that you love it. <laughs> how much do you think it's priced at? I'm gonna go at 18 pounds. Well, would you pay 26.99 for it? No. I'd be happy with having something a little bit smaller that you can put in a drawer, and that's all I would need. My question to you then, has it opened your mind or has it left you jarred? I'm sorry to say that it hasn't blown my mind, but it has opened it. Sounds like a resounding success. For goodness sake. Let's move on. Ebbers, I feel like you need to turn this video around. Come on. I've got something in my locker and I put it under your cloche. Any ideas? Tross? Wouldn't you like a desktop churros maker to take home for the family? Do you mean worktop, not desktop? Well, you can put it on your desk. <laughs> his, <laughs> his nine to five work from home has just been transformed. Send an email. <laughs> churros. Jamie, this is the Levivo churros maker making the traditional Spanish street food dessert at home without the worry of scalding pans of hot oil and cutting back on the fat content. This is your solution. Snip the end off your piping bag and you're going to pipe into your four containers. It looks like lovely, lovely batter. Aren't churros usually ridged? It's ridged inside. So although the batter's come out as a cylinder, it's going to form into the ridges, I would presume. Close it, click the safety lock, and it'll all start to warm. I'm gonna set a timer for you. How long? Three minutes. Three minutes. And when it comes out and it's hot, we're gonna to toss it in cinnamon sugar, and I'm gonna give you, because it's you, a chocolate whiskey sauce to dip it in. 
So we're going to tick all the boxes and you can have all of this luxury at home without the deep fat frying. I just want you two to know that I'm not going to bring the whiskey chocolate sauce into my judging criteria of the machine. He's being a bribey Ebbers. He is. <laughs> <laughs> 10 seconds, Jay, and you're going to love this. You've got to turn the churros. What do you mean? So if you pick it up by the safety handle and flip the machine 180. With a bit of luck, the turning gives it even cooking. While we wait for the other half to cook, let's make some in oil. Right. I'm going to do this like they do in Spain. Why? What's he doing? He's doing a big sausage, isn't he? So they do it in really big spirals, and then they flip the whole thing over so that it cooks on the other side, and then they lift the whole thing up, and that's when they snip. And do they do it in a pan that size? No, they do it in a vat the size of this kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, you're trying to do a fair comparison here. I might go again. <laughs> Jake, let's have a look at our Levivo machine. Toss them in cinnamon sugar. Oh, nice tackers. They look like very straight, small churros. Let's have a little looky. It's made of croissant. <laughs> Should we try one of these each while we wait for the other one to finish? Cheers. Cheers. First things first, that chocolate whiskey sauce is sensational. I can't taste anything else but whiskey, now. It's not cooked in the middle. No, I think it's cooked. I don't think it's great, but it's cooked. Like a stubby looking, Jay. Oh, that. It's looking nice and golden brown on the outside. I don't know about the middle. <laughs> Nothing about that texture was correct. Because there was no oil, when I lifted it out of the waffle maker and put it into the cinnamon sugar, literally none of the cinnamon sugar stuck to the outside of the churros. Whereas this one, you can see, is saturated in the fat that this healthy alternative is trying to avoid. Oh, yes. oh. Now that is far more the texture of a churros. Jay, let's talk price. What do you think? If that's more than £10, I'm going to be very angry. You're putting it £10? I think you can get a cheese toasty making for a fiver. In that case, Jay, you might not be impressed. This is £26.95. So, Jay, is this the cinnamon to your sugar or a useless cooker? That's useless. I'm really, really... No, I'm not sorry. I think you should look down the lens and tell Evie and Finn they can't have family-friendly churros tonight. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Ben! <laughs> I didn't stick that no, no. Yeah. Go for it. I also think it's an insult to uh, this instrument here to be called a gadget. It's been used for centuries. Well, it, I tell you what, it's, it's sturdy, and I assume it is what I think it is, like flatbread press, like a um, tortilla press. Yeah, a cast iron tortilla press. And I'm ready. Michael, we are making tacos, not just any tacos. These are tacos from our meal packs app. Excellent. All right, well, Baz, I have a crepe pan, preheated, it's pretty hot now. Open the cast iron, grab one of the, um, the grease-proof uh, pieces of paper, lay that onto the bottom side, then take yourself a uh, pre-made dough ball, with your hand just press down lightly, and then if you grab another uh, piece of paper, and now you can close the lid and apply the desired amount of pressure you'd like to get the thickness you want. I'm guessing quite a lot for a tortilla. Oh, hello. And then you can pop that straight in the pan. Well, it can't be denied that that was a simple process. <laughs> Now, I'll tell you what, we've made tacos before and I've had great trouble rolling them out. So it is, oh blimey, that it's is looking good. Time. It's looking good. Oh, hey. Right, I'm going to do another one. Making tortillas at home is already pretty easy, but there is a little bit of faff involved with the rolling and so on. Mm. That is just another level of ease that really makes me want to make tortillas from scratch at home. Satisfying as well, isn't it? It, does, it feels good. It feels <laughs> good. <laughs> nice, right. What are you putting in it? I very kindly had um, the prep done for our Elote's Tacos from our Meal Packs app. So our Meal Packs app has been designed to help you boss your midweek cooking. Every week, there's a menu of multiple meal packs, each containing between three and five recipes. You pick one that looks good to you or a past favorite from your library, and they are your meals for the week. Copy the week's ingredients to your usual shopping list, check you've got the equipment needed, and start cooking along as we, your personal audio guides, will take you through everything. Slice five spig onions into thin rounds and chuck them onto the tray too. 
There are built-in adjustable timers when you need them. You'll clear and wash up as you go. And by the end of the week, you'll not only have created some delicious tasting dishes, but you'll have used up all the fresh ingredients you bought so there's no food nor money wasted. Go and try it out for free for a month because we really think it will transform your midweek cooking. Oh, love it. Oh, here you go, mate. Ooh, Ebers yeah. and Spaff. There you go, sir. Tuck in, lads. Oh my goodness, this is very good. The filling is delicious. But the, but the tortilla makes that. Fresh tortillas make all the difference for a taco. Off. Cheers, lads. Thank you, Baz. It is thin, it flakes, but it's got the char. It's excellent, isn't it? I mean, the recipe is absolutely banging and you should go and try it out. I think for day-to-day -day use, I'm not sure I'd use it because I don't make homemade tortillas. However, if you were doing a DIY taco party, that would make it really simple to knock out 20 tortillas pretty damn quickly. Knowing full well that it would probably last me a long, long time. I'm not sure it'd be out all the time, but if I could find a bit of storage space for it, I'd get it. All dependent on price. What do you think? Oh, I How do much not is that? know. Yeah, it's cast iron, and I know that cast iron things aren't cheap. I'm gonna say 50 pounds. Mm -hmm. 33 pounds 29. Okay. Which is still not cheap. If I bought it, I wouldn't be thinking I'm gonna have to replace that in two years time. Question is, would I buy it in the first place? Maybe I would buy it. Oh. Well, I think I've been on a journey. Okay, so is it yes for the press or are you less than impressed? I, oh, yeah, best yeah. Well, that's a really Thank great you. one. Thank well you. done, mate. Um, well, <laughs> you've done very well all round, not only with the gift that you received, because it's excellent, but <laughs> great pun, great gadget. Congratulations, mate. I would absolutely yes for the press. Brilliant. Over to you, let us know what you think. Rate those four gadgets in terms of your favourite. Number one, the best. Number four, the whisk wiper. You can also Did you join see the churros maker. <laughs> you can also join the conversation on Twitter with the hashtag Sorted Gadgets, and we'll see you in the next one. I don't know whether it's very whizzy. I don't know if it's whizzy enough. Oh, for me. okay, okay. Well, I think I'm with you, Bers. I think it, it was. It was whizzy back in its day. Yeah, so was Ebers. <laughs> <laughs>